So ASUS have just released a huge 1.4.10 update to Army Crate. Let's break down the four key updates, including the huge addition of a new TDP slider. Plus we'll look at the statement ASUS released regarding the much anticipated AMD Fluid Motion Frame Driver 2. So let's dive straight in and update this to brand new Armory Crate 1.4.10 as we know by heading into Armory Crate, go into Content, then Update Center, press Check for Updates and the update should be available. So let's press Update and I don't know about you but I think now is a perfect time for a pancake intermission while we wait. Okay, so our ally has restarted. Let's press launch Army Crate. It will install the new update and we'll be greeted with this lovely chap. Let's double check it's worked by heading into content, then update center. And yes, we can now see we're on the very latest 1.4.10. So now let's break down each of the four new additions. The first being new game profiles now have their operator mode set to unassigned to prevent conflicts when changing the global operator mode through command center. Before the update, when we select a game, then press X for the game profile, go down to configuration, and the default operator mode is set to turbo. And now after the update, when we select a game, then press X to bring up that game profile, again heading down to configuration, and voila, the operator mode is now set to unassigned. So now if we do change the operator mode from the main global command center button, this will now prevent any conflicts and issues from happening. Next, the never show again option has been added to the campaign pop-up. So before the update, it only had two options, not now and also I'm interested. And now after the update, the not now and I'm interested buttons are now grouped together. And most importantly, this new never show again tip box is now on the bottom left. We can select this to avoid having to see this pop up from now on, which is very welcome. Thanks Asus. The third addition is that we can now assign the gyro enable feature to multiple buttons. So before the update, press X to bring up the game profile, head down to gyro, select an either mouse, left stick or right stick, and in the gyro enable button section, we could only select a single button. And now after the update, when we head into gyro, when we press the gyro enable button, now each button has a tick box. So we can now select multiple buttons if we want to. By the way, if this video is helpful, then be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel and enable notifications so you don't miss out on any of these breaking ally update videos. You guys are awesome. And finally, what we've all been waiting for, which is the huge TDP update. And the changelog states that it's added quick manual mode adjustment options for SPL, SPPT, and FPPT in the command center. So now when you open up command center and press the operating mode button on the 15 watt manual setting, this new pop-up box now appears. And let's break this down. So SPL is how many watts it can run most of the time and goes from 7 to 25 watts on battery and when plugged in can go up to 30 watts. SPPT is how many watts it can run for a few minutes before heat throttling kicks in. Can go from 15 to 30 watts on battery and when plugged in can go up to 43 watts. And finally, FPPT is the maximum watts it can use for a few seconds in super intense sections of games before the frame rate doesn't drop as badly. It can go from 15 to 35 watts on battery and when plugged in can go up to a whopping 53 watts. ASUS also provided a statement regarding the highly anticipated AMD Fluid Motion Frames driver, saying that the driver still requires some testing, then they'll await certification from AMD before the final RG Ally release, which they promise will be as soon as possible. All you great viewers are super knowledgeable and I'm sure that you know, but if you weren't aware, AMD Fluid Motion Frames is a new technology to increase frame rates and smooth movements. That's automatically enabled when the Hyper RX function is on and will level up FPS and responsiveness. AMD are claiming up to a 97% average performance uplift within games too, which is insane. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this new Armory Crate 1.4.10 update and also what you think about the upcoming AMD Fluid Motion frames as well. So let us know in the comments. 
And as thank you for watching right to the end of the video, I'd love to share this awesome quote. If you don't leave your past in the past, it will destroy your future. Live for what today has to offer, not what yesterday has taken away. It's so easy to focus on the past hurts and mistakes that we've all gone through, but let's instead choose to focus on the great future ahead of us. So stay encouraged today, guys. And check this video out if you want to find out how a top ASUS exec pretty much confirmed the RG Ally 2 to be released later this year. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.